Hugh Hefner, a true American icon, created an empire that was unrivaled. Although some of his bunnies may have gone rogue, it's because of the love and respect that we received from the man behind it all. The Rogue Bunny's mission is simple. 100 playmates taking control of their valuable IP while honoring Hef's iconic Playboy style and bringing that experience to our collectors. Like only we know how. Because after all, we did learn from the best. Relive the stories from the most prominent celebrity home in history. From those of us that lived it. The employees that worked it. And the guests who loved it. And the, the mayhem continues. Okay, I'm going to admit it. I'm having fun. <laughs> I am a little buzzed. I think oh. we all had a great lunch. Define oh. little. Yeah. Little. Well, you know, um, do you know why women don't have a great knowledge of, of measurement? Of why? measurement? Because men are always telling them this is six inches. So anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that is true. That is very, very true. Okay, that was rude of me. Anyway, we've been letting loose. We got a bar in our VIP that's lounge. That's right. Yes, that's right. We had a party. Sir. And we had a quota. Uh-huh. And we Hoda. exceeded exceeded it. So there was Done. some day. I, well, as I have a glass of wine sitting in my hand, it was so there was some was, day drinking. So everyone that's listening is going. Wait a minute! I know that voice. I know that voice. Wait a minute! Is that Deanna Brooks? <laughs> Miss yeah. May ninety eight. Ninety eight. Holy crap! Woo woo woo! Deanna, woo-woo. thank you. We finally got you on the freaking show, man. <sighs> I had to bribe her. <laughs> 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 I've been bribing her for a year to get on the project, then bribing her to come out. I'll pick you up from the airport. You stay, can stay at my, at my house. house. <laughs> I'll feed you. I'll rub your feet and massage Wait, there you. Was, there was feet rubbing? No. <laughs> nice. The feet it, rubbing That works. was the next level. I didn't have to get that. She, yeah, she agreed before and, I got to that. And that lovely voice, of course, is Victoria Fuller. Hi, I'm Victoria yes, Fuller. I'm part are. of the Rogue Bunnies. <laughs> Miss January, 1990s. Miss January, 1990. I'm and Brian, that Brian and I Alea. have been in a centerfold. Now, uh, if you look up the uh, the, millennial the millennial Playboy, the actual area where the staples are, Stacy Fusen and I, and we talked about this in another podcast with ah. Vern Troyer. So I always laughed. I always tell oh. my I tell my family, I tell my friends, I'm like, I'm technically in a centerfold. Ha! Huh. It's kind of funny. Ha! Huh. That's so fun. I, I have, I'm very good friends with the family. My girlfriend, it's her father who does cartoons, and he does Mother Goose and Grimm. I don't know if you know that cartoon Oh, my or not. gosh, yes. Yeah. And he's, and we laugh about it because they knew I was, like, going to be in Playboy. And his, he had, at the time, had done the presidential seal. It was, like, when Bill Clinton was, like, in. And so Hef printed his cartoon. So we, the big running joke was like we, everybody was waiting for mine, and they, he ended up in the issue before mine. And I was like, you oh beat God. me to Playboy. So wow. yeah, it was like a rabbit head with like the whole presidential seal around it, and that was in the April. Um, 1998 edition, so he beat me by a month. <laughs> oh my God, Scott! I, I got to tell you, so I have I have a love for all all of our playmate sisters. I've told you, I'm, I feel like I'm a big brother. I I've been blessed with the role to look over you ladies to make sure you're all taken care of. I mean, we we actually did a tour when yep. uh, we did the uh, fight night to the mansion tour when you were on the playmate dancers. Uh huh. And I got what did pulled. you do, Deanna? Yeah, I got I got asked to hey, instead of Pat Lacey going out there, Brian, would you take care of the ladies? And the ladies know that I'm there for them. When I look back and I think of Brooks, like I took a picture of me and Deanna, right? And we call her Brooks. Brooks. Um, we do, right? <laughs> me yeah. and Derek, right? We, we DJ Derek, who's who's my bro, Derek. <laughs> we 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 have a deep friendship, and because of that tour. And of course, all of, all of you ladies, when we started that tour with the dancers, we all just hung out. That's what it was fun. It's like what we're doing now. Yeah. You know, we're we're doing this show at the same time. We're doing a show out here where you ladies are signing autographs. Mm-hmm. But then we have the after dinners and the after parties and just getting to be ourselves. So I sent a picture to Derek. He's like, "Wait, what? She's in town?" Because <laughs> we talk about you all the time. Yeah. I mean, you're forever family. Yeah, yeah. I Sometimes guess they say nice stuff. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they say nice stuff, and then other times they're like, "Oh my oh, god, that what is she doing?" <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we've had a lot of fun together. Yeah, we really have. I love D. I love. You know what's so fun is like, 
it's oof. Hello, I got a little a little warm here over here, getting a little hot. It's my um, energy. The, <laughs> it is. It's like the hot energy. What's so fun is like also being able to, and this is like even something that we can share among our playmate friends is like having kids and you can like start exchanging photos and like oh, figuring yeah. out like what are your kids doing. So Dee's kid and my kid are like yeah. fairly, they, they're a few years apart, but it's fun to like watch him be a dad and... You know, he's cool, like huh? checking on each other's kids and yeah. Let's just jump right there, right? Yeah. We can go back into the flashback and maybe in the next segment, but right now I haven't seen you in so many years. And when no. Victoria said Deanna's gonna be there and I ju- <laughs> I, I literally said that. I said to he's you, I'm like liar. Brooks <laughs> Brooks yeah. is gonna be there? I'm like, holy shit, I got so excited, right? Deanna Brooks, what's what's your life like now? I'm kind of known as the chameleon, and I like that about myself. I like to, shall I go, this is this is hilarious. It's like the thing that I hate the most about my Playmate video, because yeah, you do your Playmate video, right? And they do like your interview. And I don't know what the heck was going on with me. I think I was a little nervous, but I was like, I like to learn. I like learning things. But actually, it's pretty profound now. I can say that again. I like to learn. I like to learn things. I love, like, tackling something new. So Playboy is a huge part of that because it uh, afforded me opportunities and time and energy to, you know, focus on things that were interesting to me and, you know, like you said, grow as a person and figure out stuff. And Hef was always awesome about that because he just was fully supportive. Like, I remember, you know, like, you're, you talk, your story, like, with your artwork, he was, like, so fully supportive oh, yeah. of that. But a lot of people don't know that um, one of the things that Hef did for me, you you know this because I had to, like, arrange it, is he let me do, once I started teaching yoga, he let me, like, sucker everybody <laughs> into the mansion on Sunday fun days and do yes. a yoga session. So yes. I taught yoga. Well, why wasn't I in on this? I don't know. When was that? <laughs> I, it was after You're taking I did care my, of your daughter. My teacher training. I came <laughs> I back know. and he let me start teaching up at the mansion. So it was like 2012? Dang. Somewhere around Perhaps there. Somewhere around there. Dang. Yeah. I so I came out. back and I would hold yoga sessions at the mansion and I taught anybody who was willing to like come let me teach them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was fun. That was well, fun. I have some questions about yoga. Okay. I've been interested in trying to understand like all these new forms of like, I'm trying to get myself in a better physical shape. Okay. Um, at the same time, I need to de-stress. Oh, yoga I mean, is your God, avenue. All of us, all of us. I mean, yeah, all of us. you know, we run multiple companies. We're trying to, I don't want to say very launch. Important We're people. building a brand, <laughs> yeah. you know, Rogue Bunnies. <laughs> and, and it's a lot of work, but there comes times you're like, what am I going to do, man? I'm freaking out. Is this something you could recommend that would help us? Absolutely. I mean, well, first off, yoga yoga can mean like a lot of different things, but, you know, yoking basically is like finding balance. But really for me, like the one, the reason why I gravitated to it so much is because I used to do it. Like I started actually in the, when we were doing the Playboy Extreme team and I, I wanted to do it for physical exercise. But what I noticed is that I felt so wonderful after I did it and I couldn't figure out what that was but what what it does and the way that you lead people and putting them in tune and touch with their body is centering and 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 bringing you back into yourself back into your body back into your authenticity and doing a lot of that with breath so meditation is hard that's really what the purpose of yoga is is like meditation but it's an active practice of the sympathetic like the parasympathetic um, system and your parasympathetic is what makes you calm Deanna are you are you getting a, an endorphin release like uh, joggers do and endorphins are like speeding up your system so they give you energy and they give you like ways to tackle things. You can do that with breath, and that's what's so freaking cool. Like, there's yogis who can sit outside in the freezing cold temperatures and with their breath and their breath only increase the temperature of their body, which is amazing, right? So, um, but you can also calm yourself down. So they're like heating and then cooling breaths. And I like, I liked that. I think that we live in a world where, you know, we're multitasking like so much all the time. And, and it is important to like, remember that like you've got to like tune back into yourself and tune into like 
what your it helps you find your authentic like place to know like I want to move forward on this step. I want to be better here. And it I makes need to do sex more. better. And sex. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> it does make sex better. And how does it make sex better? Well, you know, your leg can go here now <laughs> and you're like, you know, they're just you just have a lot of more So you're options. a little bit more bendy. A little more oh. gumby, yes. Can I tell you? Yes, tell me everything. Well, if you have a choice between a, a limber I, partner and a not limber partner, that, that's a no-brainer. I point. have a thing I mean, that I... The door thing. only that opens I, halfway. Yes. <laughs> I, like, like you, you do become so much more aware of all of your muscles and your body yeah. and breathing and everything. I learned a few things that really worked for me as well as some other people. <laughs> did you see the gesture that like yes. Rick and Victoria did there right there? <laughs> yes. She and, clenched and her it, fans, looked at me like, yeah. And it involved, <laughs> let, let me just say, if you can practice finger to toe and do the, a lot of work with your finger to toe and your flexibility and try that in the middle of some stuff. This is oh. not a family show. <laughs> don't, don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, what are you censoring for? Tell us the goods. I'm dying over here. <laughs> it makes you activate your pelvic floor. And, okay. Ooh. And so, yeah, it actually activates your pelvic floor. So By touching I, your toes? Putting pressure on your toes. So it's like actually grabbing and then oh. with breath work, right? So it activates is it, your Is it pelvic wrong floor. that I, I went did. into like a childhood song? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. Knees, knees and, and toes, toes, pull them. Heads and shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes. Pelvic Annie floor. Eyes <laughs> and what the, what? You want it's a pelvic floor that works better. Totally inappropriate. Yeah, Make your and we all went there. Make your pelvic floor work better. All right. Strengthen wow. your core and pelvic floor. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> So are you currently uh, uh, offering this? To, do you teach this? Yeah, I mean, why don't we have a Discord Sunday? Why don't we have, have this Deanna happening? Brooks teaching us We yoga. need to have like a yoga day. Yoga for sex? Yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, I saw, I saw a guy standing by the freeway with that sign. <laughs> yoga for sex. <laughs> I wondered what it meant. <laughs> yeah, we'll work yeah. for food. <laughs> yoga for sex. Let's take that one. <laughs> I love that. So oh my gosh, she just reminded me of that. Um, this oh my gosh, we'll do soup to pot and gustasna. Sounds sexy, right? Yoga for sex. Yoga for sex. So well, I'm getting that T-shirt made tomorrow. Okay, I'm getting diverted. I'm listening to Deanna talk about yoga for sex. <laughs> At the same floors. time, I'm looking at her beautiful freaking centerfold Aww. sitting here on the table and just going, damn. You, Scott was going, whoa. She went from blonde to brunette. Yeah. The yeah, chameleon. Was co- co- uh, commenting on that that you were br- that you were blonde. I guess yeah. you were. I, I subtly, because back then, Playboy, it was in your contract. You couldn't change your hair color or you couldn't cut it, right? Right. So I asked them if I could go back to, like, more of a br- brown color, and they were like, no, no, you know? And so I just did it really slowly, and all yeah, of a sudden, Yeah, and they didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't notice, exactly. Yeah. It took me years, but I finally got to brown. <laughs> Uh, no, I've been all kinds of colors. I also did red for a while, so that was yes, fun. Absolutely. Yep. Well, that's half the fun, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, like you said, you're a chameleon. Yep. Go with the flow. Yep. Have fun. Yeah. Speaking of chameleon, I, I have to flash back on this, okay? Halloween up at the mansion. Yes. One of the best costumes <laughs> ever. I know which one. Okay, so J.D. Butler... We all know JD. We love him. He he and I we're we're standing in the pantry, and Brooks comes into the bedroom, <laughs> and Brooks is wearing not a skin of clothes, zero, all in body paint. You want to tell everybody who you were? Oh, well, oh, I have a picture with you at that. Which one? The blue, right? Yes. Yeah. What was what was that from? Mystique from X Men. Yes. And you had the red. We talked about the red hair. Uh-huh. You had the red hair. You had the uh, eyes. contacts for the eyes. But you were nothing but body paint. It was eight hours of body painting. I remember oh I remember God. we walked in. You're, I'm like, look at Deanna. I mean, you're smoking. I remember JD was so nervous. <laughs> he was like, I, I can't look at this. I, you know what I mean? Remember, he was really he nervous. Yeah, he was. He it, and it was cute. You know what yeah. I mean? Because... Again, you, you ladies are our sisters, but I'm not turning my eyes away. So yeah. <laughs> she's she's that had a couple hot. Halloween costumes that were 
body paint Nothing too. but a uh, little bit of paint and hair covering. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you find yourself to be an exhibitionist? I, I think I was probably a little bit of both. Right, yeah. like I like to, I like to view, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You can't get away with it anywhere yeah, else. Yeah. Like, you, where else can you get away with it? That's right? true. And nobody gossip about you in the next day. Like nobody, you know, you go, you show up, you wear next to nothing. Yeah, you have a good time. It was like no fun. It was like a fun challenge too, like to like yeah. step it up, right? Like, what can I do this year to out? The so one year you were, uh, was it Eve? I was. She showed up as Eve. I did. That was the Midsummer Night Dream. That was, I think, one of my first Midsummer Night Dream parties. And Hef was, like, loving that. We loved that costume. Yeah. That landed in a bunch of magazines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pictures yeah, no, that was really, really good. So back to the one where you painted all the whole body in yeah. blue. Mystique. So, yeah. So one of the things I noticed about the painted ladies always at the parties uh -huh. is that if they went to the bathroom and sat on the toilet, they had a ring around their butt from the paint coming off. Yes. What did you do? Hovered. I was a good hoverer. Yeah, you had to oh, hover. that yoga came in handy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I'd always be like, oh, no, that but, girl just went to the bathroom and she's... But yeah. I will tell you, because they, they were really, really careful. So a lot of the girls, what they would do, they had, like, a piece of a bandage type thing that you, so they could, like, paint. But I was like, no, I don't. That thing is going to fall off me the first, like, couple drinks that I take and what, the first time I go to the bathroom. So I just made them paint everything. Yeah. So and this I is would. this is Scott, and I, I just want to take a, a a moment to talk to my listenership, to our listenership. <laughs> um, just ask yourself: Is this something that you would have heard anywhere else? No, <laughs> no. We don't have just exclusive content. We have maybe at the sex toy factory. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the hover, the, ho the, 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 <laughs> the hover thing. Oh, the hover, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still on. I'm, my brain has stopped functioning yeah. since hearing you describe hovering, so you don't get paint toilet ring thing going. Yeah, the, it, there's a lot of complicated factors that go into that, like a lot of pre-planning that needs to happen. You know? Well, you could hover and it could still sprinkle everywhere. That's true. I just want to know if I can get hold of Mark Fraser and say, bro. Do you have those I paint well, brushes? It wasn't, it wasn't Mark. It wasn't Mark? Oh, no, okay. No, because the original body painter was my friend Tyson, who was a, That's he right. was my makeup artist. And so he started it. So do they in have fact, those body paint freaking brushes? In fact, you know I got where they've the been. job. I actually got it started for the mansion with Tyson, and I had to get it approved. Oh, wow. Because um, oh, wow. there were... There were um, Hef didn't want any of the playmates. And we were like, this can be done tastefully. This can be like done well. So I don't know if you remember, but there was another costume that I did where it was for Midsummer Night Dream. And it was like flowers. My hair was like really curly and I had flowers. So it was kind of like the Eve, except for it was body paint. And I, we had to paint that and go up to the mansion and show Hef before he would like let it happen. So I was also the first playmate that was allowed to be body painted and that he like, and he paid for it, which was great, you know, because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of oh, artistry. Yeah. Absolutely. So that was awesome. And he loved it. And that from that point forward is when he, yeah. I painted on my top many a party. I'm, yes, you did. Yeah. 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 So I maybe had, you started. I don't know. No, no, started. no. I didn't start it. It was after. It was well out. I was after? doing it after. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Marcus Lowen did all my painting. So how much do the... Uh, do the artists have to pay you for that privilege? <laughs> Nothing. I, lo I loved having him do my costume because then nobody else would have the same costume. True. Yeah, that was the, that was the really cool thing, too. It made you very okay. unique, too, though. Yeah. Can yeah. I say very also, unique. though, I'm going to take it up a notch. Are you do ready? Do it, please. Take please. it up. So please. beyond the hover, because you had the pad, I know there were many complicated factors. You also, if you are painted fully... That can close. So you had to be very strategic about the painting so that you can open and pee. So it didn't seal you off. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, again, something you don't get on any other podcast. <laughs> Exclusive. Except for Rogue Bunnies, ma'am. Wow. Deanna, I, we could talk forever, and I would like to invite you back. Okay. Please come back out. Yeah. I mean... 
It's been way too damn freaking long. I know. It's been way too long. We need to catch up. Yeah. But we'd love to have you come back because there's so many stories. Yeah. Thanks for having me. But we got to wrap up. Yeah. And we have a segment called Homage to Hef. Okay. And I think this is an opportune time for all of us. And you're going to be on the spot right now. Big spotlight on you. Okay. Shuffling the uh, pressure. (sighs) You know, when the boss passed away, just like with all of our loved ones, why didn't I tell him this? Why didn't I tell her that? And so we wanted to create this segment to where you can. I love this that. Is, this is to Hef. It's not just to us. It's just you Hef. and Hef. So imagine him here. <laughs> you didn't get to say it, but now you can. What would you like to tell him? Oh, gosh. So many things. Mostly just like, Hef, thank you for all of the opportunities that you gave me for this like life and lifelong friendships that I I have oh gosh you're going to make me cry I'm going to totally cry right now and thank you for like opening your like home and your heart and just always being so excited and, and supportive of me as a person and all of the people and this family that we got out of it oh gosh okay <laughs> exactly Aww. right that yeah. was beautiful <laughs> I'm Brian Olea Scott Ramsey I'm Victoria Fuller I'm Deanna Brooks I'm weeping <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys all man always tune back in we are Rogue Bunnies Mayhem and the, the mayhem, mayhem continues, continues.